Ladies and gentlemen, softness in this context refers to the lack of mental, emotional, and physical toughness required to face life's challenges head on. It is an attitude or state of being where a person avoids discomfort, shirks responsibility, or relies too heavily on external factors for validation, rather than developing the inner strength to tackle difficult situations. Softness is often characterized by a resistance to push beyond one's comfort zone, seeking instant gratification instead of enduring the sacrifices necessary for long-term growth. In a mental sense, softness means being easily overwhelmed by stress, failure, or obstacles. It manifests in individuals who quickly give up when things get hard, who choose to avoid conflict rather than confront problems, and who shy away from taking risks. When softness dominates, a person's mindset becomes one that seeks ease rather than embracing the hard work required for personal development. Rather than finding solutions or learning from challenges, someone operating from a place of softness may resort to complaining or blaming external circumstances. Emotionally, softness is an inability to regulate feelings and responses in the face of adversity. Instead of maintaining composure, individuals who are emotionally soft may react impulsively, allowing their emotions to dictate their actions. This can lead to poor decision-making and increased vulnerability as emotional reactions often cloud judgment and hinder progress. Emotional softness also reflects an aversion to vulnerability and a reluctance to face difficult emotional truths. It results in avoiding self-reflection or growth out of fear of discomfort or pain. Physically, softness is reflected in a lack of discipline or endurance. It shows up when someone avoids physical challenges, whether it's skipping workouts, not eating healthily, or not pushing themselves to achieve physical goals. Softness leads to a sedentary lifestyle where comfort and convenience take precedence over developing strength, endurance, and resilience. This physical softness can limit a person's energy, drive, and overall potential for success. Ultimately, softness is about the unwillingness to fight for what you want, the avoidance of hard truths, and the fear of failure. It's a pattern of choosing comfort and ease over growth, and it often leads to stagnation in both personal and professional aspects of life. By defining softness in these terms, we understand that it is not just about being passive or kind, but rather about avoiding the struggles that lead to true strength, resilience, and success. Embracing toughness as a necessity is a powerful shift in mindset that transforms how we approach life's challenges. Toughness isn't about being hard, cold, or unfeeling. It's about developing the resilience, mental fortitude, and determination required to navigate difficulties with strength. Life will inevitably throw obstacles our way, whether personal, professional, or emotional, and without toughness, these challenges can seem insurmountable. By embracing toughness, we equip ourselves with the tools to not only survive these hardships, but to thrive in the face of them. Toughness begins with a strong mental attitude. It means refusing to be broken by setbacks, disappointments, or failures. In a world where people are often quick to abandon their goals at the first sign of adversity, toughness is the ability to keep moving forward when others would quit. It's a mindset that understands that failure is not a reflection of your worth, but a stepping stone to eventual success. Toughness isn't about being perfect. It's about bouncing back, learning from mistakes, and staying focused on the end goal. Mental toughness helps you persist through challenges, reinforcing the belief that every setback is a lesson, and every difficulty is a chance to grow stronger. Embracing toughness also means being proactive in facing discomfort. The road to success is rarely smooth, and achieving anything of value requires discomfort and sacrifice. Toughness is about understanding that discomfort is a necessary part of growth and is something to be embraced rather than avoided. Whether it's working longer hours, dealing with failure, 
or stepping out of your comfort zone to take on difficult tasks, toughness pushes you to keep going when the easy way out seems tempting. It is about choosing the harder path, the path that will lead to greater achievement, self-improvement, and fulfillment. Part of embracing toughness is learning how to handle emotional and mental pressure. It's easy to give in to stress, anxiety, or fear, but true toughness is about controlling these emotions, not letting them control you. It means staying calm in the face of adversity, keeping a clear mind when things feel overwhelming, and not letting the weight of your emotions derail your progress. The tough person understands that emotional strength is just as critical as mental and physical strength. They are resilient in their emotional responses, able to adapt, adjust, and move forward, no matter what challenges come their way. Toughness also means developing a strong sense of discipline. Discipline is the backbone of toughness because it allows you to stay committed to your goals, even when motivation is low. When you embrace discipline, you understand that success is built on consistent effort, not momentary bursts of energy or inspiration. Whether it's sticking to a workout routine, staying focused on your work, or adhering to a long-term goal, toughness is what keeps you on track when the temptation to slack off or procrastinate is strong. The tough person knows that results come from sustained effort over time, not from taking shortcuts or avoiding hard work. At the core of embracing toughness is the ability to face fear head on. Fear can paralyze us, holding us back from pursuing our goals and dreams. Toughness isn't the absence of fear, it's the courage to move forward despite it. Whether it's fear of failure, fear of judgment, or fear of the unknown, tough individuals don't let fear dictate their actions. Instead, they push past it, taking calculated risks and stepping into situations that force them to grow. The tough person understands that fear is a natural part of life, but it is also a signal that they are about to do something significant. They embrace fear as a sign of progress, not a reason to stop. Finally, Embracing toughness means developing a strong sense of personal responsibility. Life may not always be fair, and circumstances may not always be in our favor, but tough individuals take ownership of their lives. They understand that their actions, decisions, and choices directly impact their future, and they don't look for someone else to fix their problems. Instead, they step up, take charge, and make the necessary changes in their lives, knowing that they are the architects of their success. Toughness is about taking responsibility, making difficult decisions, and doing the work, even when no one is watching. It's about knowing that success doesn't come by waiting for the perfect circumstances. It comes from making the most of what you have, where you are. Resilience in the face of adversity is the cornerstone of personal growth and success. Life is full of challenges, obstacles, and setbacks that can feel overwhelming at times. But resilience is what allows us to persevere and grow stronger from these experiences. Resilience is not about avoiding hardship or escaping difficult situations. It's about how we respond to them. It's the ability to bounce back after being knocked down, to continue moving forward despite the pain or discomfort, and to maintain hope even in the darkest times. The first aspect of resilience is the mindset we choose to adopt when adversity strikes. It's easy to become discouraged or disheartened when things don't go as planned, but resilient individuals see challenges as opportunities for growth rather than insurmountable roadblocks. They recognize that every setback carries a lesson and that overcoming adversity builds strength, character, and wisdom. Instead of viewing failure as a reflection of their limitations, they view it as part of the journey towards success. They understand that resilience is built through facing challenges head on and refusing to be defined by them. Resilience also involves cultivating emotional strength. 
When faced with difficulties, emotions such as fear, frustration, and disappointment are natural, but resilient people learn to manage these emotions rather than letting them control their actions. They recognize that emotions are temporary and do not define who they are. Resilient individuals acknowledge their feelings, but they don't let them dictate their behavior. They keep moving forward, even when it feels uncomfortable or uncertain. This emotional control allows them to make clear, rational decisions, even in high pressure situations, and it helps them maintain their sense of purpose, despite the chaos around them. A key component of resilience is persistence. In the face of adversity, it's easy to feel defeated and want to give up, but resilience means continuing to push forward, even when success seems distant. Persistence is the refusal to quit, no matter how many times you encounter setbacks. It's about setting a goal and continuing to pursue it, day after day, regardless of the obstacles in your way. Resilient people don't allow failure to discourage them instead. They see every setback as a chance to learn and improve. They understand that success rarely comes on the first try and that the path to achievement is paved with perseverance and grit. Adaptability is another crucial element of resilience. Life is unpredictable, and circumstances often change in ways we cannot control. Resilient individuals are able to adapt to new situations, change course when necessary, and embrace uncertainty with a sense of confidence. They don't cling to old plans or rigid expectations. Instead, they remain flexible and open to new possibilities. Adaptability allows them to navigate through adversity without losing sight of their goals. They can adjust their approach, recalibrate when things go wrong, and keep pushing forward, knowing that adaptability is key to surviving and thriving in difficult times. Resilience also requires a strong sense of purpose. When you have a clear vision of why you are working toward your goals, it becomes easier to weather the storms that come your way. A strong sense of purpose provides the motivation to keep going, even when the journey feels exhausting. It is the inner fire that keeps you focused on your long-term vision, rather than getting lost in the temporary discomforts of the present. Resilient individuals don't lose sight of their why and they use that sense of purpose to fuel them during difficult times. They understand that adversity is often a test of their commitment to their purpose and they use it as an opportunity to deepen their resolve. Support systems also play a crucial role in resilience. While resilience is about inner strength, it's important to recognize that we don't have to face adversity alone. Surrounding ourselves with a strong support system of family, friends, mentors, or colleagues can provide the encouragement, advice, and resources we need to stay resilient. These individuals offer perspective, help us see things we might not notice on our own, and give us the strength to keep going when we feel like giving up. The most resilient people know when to lean on others for support, and they are not afraid to ask for help when they need it. This network of support doesn't make them weak, it strengthens their resilience by providing them with the emotional resources they need to continue their journey. Finally, resilience is about maintaining hope and faith, even in the face of adversity. It's easy to become disillusioned when everything seems to be falling apart, but resilient individuals maintain hope that things can and will improve. They trust that, no matter how difficult the current situation is, it will eventually pass, and better days lie ahead. This hope fuels their determination, helping them to keep going, even when the path is unclear, Resilient people hold on to their belief that they can overcome anything that comes their way, and this unwavering faith in themselves and their future keeps them moving forward, even in the most difficult of times. Developing self-discipline is one of the most important aspects of achieving long-term success and personal growth. It is the foundation on which all meaningful progress is built, whether you are pursuing personal, professional, or academic goals. 
Self-discipline is the ability to control your impulses, emotions, and behaviors in the face of temptations and distractions. It's about doing what needs to be done, even when you don't feel like it, and staying committed to your objectives, despite the challenges and obstacles that may arise. The first step in developing self-discipline is understanding its importance. Without discipline, even the most talented and gifted individuals will struggle to reach their full potential. Self-discipline is what keeps you on track, helping you make consistent progress toward your goals. It's the difference between having good intentions and actually following through on them. While motivation may come and go, discipline is what sustains you during the periods when motivation fades. It ensures that you continue to work towards your goals regardless of how you feel in the moment. A critical aspect of building self-discipline is creating strong habits. The most disciplined individuals have mastered the art of habit building because habits make discipline automatic. By establishing daily routines that align with your goals, you reduce the amount of willpower required to stay on track. Habits take the mental strain out of decision making, allowing you to focus your energy on executing tasks without needing to summon motivation each time. This is why building positive habits early in life, or in any area of your life you wish to improve, is so vital. These routines reinforce your commitment and keep you moving forward, even when external circumstances are unpredictable or challenging. Time management is another key factor in developing self-discipline. People who have mastered self-discipline are often exceptional time managers. They understand that time is a limited resource and they make intentional choices about how they use it. They prioritize important tasks, set aside specific blocks of time for focused work, and eliminate distractions. Time management doesn't just involve planning your day, it also involves saying no to things that don't align with your goals or values. By effectively managing your time, you ensure that you are always working on what matters most rather than getting sidetracked by less important tasks. Self-discipline also requires developing mental toughness. Life is full of distractions, challenges, and temptations that can derail your focus and cause you to stray from your path. To build resilience and stay disciplined, you must strengthen your mental resolve to stay focused on the task at hand. Mental toughness is about pushing through discomfort staying committed even when it feels hard and resisting the temptation to quit when progress is slow. Resilient individuals embrace discomfort as a natural part of the growth process. Understanding that overcoming obstacles is what leads to personal and professional development. One of the most powerful tools in developing self-discipline is setting clear, actionable goals. When your goals are specific, Measurable and time-bound, they provide a clear sense of direction and purpose. Having a roadmap for success makes it easier to stay disciplined because you know exactly what you need to do to achieve your desired outcome. Without clear goals, it's easy to lose focus or become overwhelmed by the magnitude of the task. By breaking down large objectives into smaller, more manageable steps, you can create a sense of progress and momentum which is crucial for staying disciplined. Accountability is another key element in self-discipline. When you have someone to hold you accountable, whether it's a mentor, friend, or accountability partner, you are more likely to stay disciplined. Accountability encourages consistency and helps you remain committed to your goals, even when the initial enthusiasm fades. Knowing that someone else is watching your progress can help you stay on track and it provides an added layer of motivation to keep moving forward. In addition to external accountability, self-accountability is just as important. Holding yourself responsible for your actions and commitments ensures that you don't rely on external forces to keep you in check. Patience and persistence are integral to developing self-discipline. Discipline is not something that happens overnight, it is cultivated over time through consistent effort. It requires a willingness to endure setbacks, adapt to new challenges, and stay focused on the long-term goal, even when the immediate results may not be visible. 
Progress in building self-discipline often feels slow, but every small effort compounds over time, leading to big results. The key is to be patient with the process, understanding that developing self-discipline is an ongoing journey, not a destination. Each small victory strengthens your ability to stay disciplined, and with time, these victories add up to significant personal transformation. Finally, self-discipline is about self-respect. The act of maintaining discipline is an expression of your commitment to yourself and your goals. It shows that you value your time, your potential, and your future. By practicing self-discipline, you are sending a message to yourself that you are worthy of the effort required to achieve your dreams. It's a powerful form of self-love as it reflects your belief in your ability to achieve greatness. The more you invest in developing your discipline, the more you build your sense of self-worth and confidence in your own abilities. Stop seeking comfort. This statement might sound counterintuitive as we live in a world that often prioritizes comfort, convenience, and ease. Everywhere we turn, we're encouraged to take the path of least resistance, whether it's through technology, services, or simply choosing what's familiar. But in reality, comfort can be one of the greatest barriers to growth, success, and personal development. Comfort can create complacency, dull ambition, and breed a false sense of security that hinders progress. True success and fulfillment lie on the other side of discomfort, where challenges are faced, and where we push beyond the limits of what we thought was possible. The first step in stopping the constant search for comfort is understanding the nature of comfort itself. Comfort is the feeling of ease and security, and while it can provide temporary relief, it doesn't foster growth. Growth is uncomfortable. It involves pushing through pain, resistance, and uncertainty. Every time we choose comfort over challenge, we trade progress for short-term satisfaction. It's easy to become addicted to comfort because it's familiar, but in doing so, we miss out on the opportunities that lie just beyond the comfort zone. Growth, learning, and achievement come from stepping into the unknown, taking risks, and navigating uncertainty. To stop seeking comfort, we must reframe how we view discomfort. Instead of seeing discomfort as something to avoid, we need to view it as a signal that we are on the right path. Discomfort often accompanies change, transformation, and progress. Whether we're pushing our bodies to achieve a fitness goal, learning new skills, or pursuing a challenging project, discomfort is inevitable. It's a natural part of the process of becoming better, stronger, and more capable. When we embrace discomfort, we learn how to stretch beyond our limits, tapping into potential we didn't know we had. Choosing discomfort over comfort requires a shift in mindset. It involves embracing challenges rather than avoiding them. Instead of asking, what's the easiest way out, we start asking, what's the best way to grow from this situation? The most successful and fulfilled people in the world don't shy away from hardship. They lean into it. They recognize that each difficult moment is an opportunity to build resilience, character, and skill. They understand that lasting success isn't achieved by constantly seeking comfort, but by learning how to thrive in uncomfortable situations. Another aspect of stopping the pursuit of comfort is learning how to be comfortable with uncertainty. The world is unpredictable, and nothing worthwhile comes without risk. Many people shy away from uncertainty because they feel out of control. But the truth is, control is an illusion. The more we seek comfort in predictable, safe situations, the more we limit ourselves. When we step into the unknown, we open ourselves up to endless possibilities. Embracing uncertainty means accepting that we cannot foresee every outcome, but it also means recognizing that we don't need to. The greatest achievements often come from moments of uncertainty where we took a leap of faith 
trusting in our abilities and resilience to navigate the challenges ahead. Discomfort also builds mental toughness. Life will never be without difficulties, and those who continually seek comfort are less prepared for the inevitable obstacles that life throws their way. Mental toughness is forged in the fires of struggle and adversity. It's not developed by staying in safe, predictable environments where things are always easy. Mental toughness is cultivated when we push through challenges, when we don't quit when things get hard, and when we refuse to let failure define us. The more we stop seeking comfort and face adversity head on, the stronger and more resilient we become. Mental toughness gives us the ability to persevere, stay focused and maintain our discipline, even when circumstances are tough. Stop seeking comfort also means being willing to fail. Failure is often the result of stepping out of our comfort zones, but it is also one of the most powerful teachers. When we fail, we are forced to confront our weaknesses, learn from our mistakes and adapt. Every failure provides valuable lessons that success cannot. In fact, failure is often the precursor to success. It builds the character, perseverance, and grit necessary to achieve meaningful goals. By avoiding failure in our quest for comfort, we rob ourselves of the opportunity to learn and grow. To truly stop seeking comfort, we must stop fearing failure and embrace it as part of the process. Another critical aspect of breaking free from the need for comfort is realizing that our comfort zone is often just a mental construct. We tell ourselves stories about what we can and cannot do, what is possible and impossible, based on past experiences and limitations we've placed on ourselves. In truth, the boundaries of our comfort zone are often self-imposed, and breaking them requires challenging those limiting beliefs. When we begin to expand our thinking and redefine what's possible, we open up a world of potential. Stepping out of the comfort zone means facing these self-imposed limits and realizing that we are capable of far more than we think. Lastly, stopping the pursuit of comfort is about living with intention. When we choose discomfort, we're choosing a path that leads to personal growth, fulfillment, and true success. Instead of passively drifting through life, waiting for things to be easy, we begin to actively seek challenges that will push us toward becoming the best versions of ourselves. It's about living a life of purpose, one where we're constantly evolving and moving forward. It's about understanding that the road to greatness is not a smooth one, but it is filled with rich lessons and experiences that shape who we become. Choosing discomfort is a conscious decision to take control of your life and your destiny, to stop letting fear or laziness hold you back, and to embrace the hard but rewarding journey of self-mastery and growth.